What's up everybody? It's time now to talk about how you can get free photo cloud storage with your Amazon Prime account. So most people out there have Amazon Prime and with each Prime account you get a number of fantastic things for free such as uh, your free postage on items and the subject of today's video that we're going to talk about is the free photo storage option. It's not just storage for JPEG images or images from your phone, it also storage for raw images. All of this is in the Amazon Prime package that you already pay for. So at the moment I've got just under 650,000 images stored in my Amazon photos which is absolutely insane. I do have all of my images on a large number of hard drives as well but then have them on cloud storage too it's so much easier and should I need access to any files anywhere in the world I can use the Amazon photos app to get them download them that's both the originals and the edits. And while this might sound like an amazing thing but there are some drawbacks. I found with the entire system which I'll quickly talk about now so firstly the photos app which I use on the Mac isn't the best. It takes a long time to load up and when it's open it slows down the computer and the internet it hugs the internet when uploading images as well so sometimes it takes a while for it to do. Generally if I'm backing up raw images or edited images I'll open up the app before I go to sleep and set them away uploading or if I go out I'll do that so they upload through the night when I don't need the internet or the computer. Sometimes as well the app will crash and if it's been left open for a while too which is such a shame but with some work it could be amazing though. The plus of the app is that it's very easy to use it's a case of dragging and dropping the images on the app selecting the folder you want it to back up to and then once you go in your folder structure it'll just start uploading. The same with downloading. When you're downloading the files using the app um, it's very simple as well. You just go through the app and download the files and they just set away downloading in the background. So you search for your folders that you want, download, done. And that can be downloaded at the same time you're uploading too which is an added bonus. There's a mobile app which I use quite often and allows you to view both the raw and edited images and there's a sort option to arrange them recently uploaded or date uploaded or date taken. There's a large number of search options too visible on the website version of Amazon Photos and the mobile app such as labeling people's faces, locations, dates and much more. So I can have my face labeled up and then I can just click on me under the people section and it'll bring up all the photos that I appear in. There's also a search option where you can put in pretty much anything you want at all and it'll search for photos with that said thing in. So you search for glasses, sunglasses, and it'll show all people with glasses and sunglasses. Search for cat and it'll bring up photos with cats in as well. Sometimes it'll throw up random images. So like when I search for cat, it brings up photos of cat, but also it'll bring up a photo of someone who has a cat tattoo on the, the skin as Amazon has recognized it as a cat and short. So I think with a bit more work as well, it's needed on that section, but it does come in handy when searching for something where you don't know the date it was taken. Like for example, if you're a wedding photographer, you want to search for flowers from a particular florist, you can type in a flower and it'll bring up all photos with flowers in. One of the main things that I use this for is to deliver client images to them from the edited images which have been uploaded onto the cloud server because anyone can view the images, download them and the link will never expire. So I used to use the Amazon Drive to grab the link and the folder but by the end of 2023 that has now gone away. You can only use Amazon Photos on the web so it's a bit harder to grab that link but I'm sure there'll be a workaround enough easily eventually. So this is just a short video to go over the basics of Amazon Photos which features some pros and cons and the pros definitely outweigh the cons when it comes to photo storage and the price that you're paying for it which is actually including your Amazon Prime account so for a lot of people they don't need to spend any extra money and for others this could be much cheaper than using cloud storage elsewhere online such as Dropbox and other services. If you'd like to see more videos on Amazon Photos and some of the features it has and more how-to videos on using it and making the most of it such as how to place a name to a face for the search results then let me know in the comments and I'll compile some videos together. If you got this far in the video too and you're not subscribed already it would be great if you could do so and give the video a like as it'll help with the algorithm too apparently and until next time see ya.